Okay, sorry. Um, that was my oncologist calling me back. I'll try to make this quick, but, um, so, so I don't know. I really don't, this sounds so stupid because I'm new at this and I really don't know what I'm doing. And sometimes I even question, like, why am I taking such a personal situation that I'm going through and why am I trying to put that out there, you know, for everyone to see? Sometimes I question myself, like, what are you doing? What's the purpose of this? But I know that my reason for this, that I have two reasons for this. Number one, I like making videos. I like YouTube. I want to get better at it. So even uh, as a hobby side of it, it's just something that I wanted to dabble in. And I haven't really had the chance a whole lot and then the second reason is that I myself going through this am so scared and you search and you search and you search and I feel like something that has been helpful for me has been and there's not a ton out there but when I have found other people that have made YouTube videos they have I, I find that Yes, they're not doctors and things like that, but they can give you their experience. They can give you their perspective of what they had to go through. And I just find that comforting. I find that motivational. I find that, um, you know, like when I was so scared to death about going through my port surgery, um, I would look up and find some videos of people that had, said how their experience went and I was like okay well they got through it and they said it wasn't that bad or or okay they they didn't sugarcoat it and they said yeah this kind of hurt but you get through it and you know you just and you don't feel alone that's a, I guess that's another thing is that you feel so alone that I would do anything to help ease someone else who who's just been recently diagnosed and going through this um and then my other reason um more so just for myself is that I kind of I kind of am viewing this as a diary to myself um and I know that there are going to be some hard and ugly times that might be triggering later on for me to look back and see but at the same time, I feel like if I can look back and see, I did this. I got through this. I thought I couldn't make it, but I did. I thought that day was the worst, but I got through it. You know, a year later or whatever later, I'm here. I'm I'm doing it. So I think that that would be something great to look back on. Um, and also for my family. Um, I have three children, a son and two daughters, and I want to be... I need to show them how to be positive, how to be strong, how to navigate through this. And if they can see their own mother plowing through this, then um, anything in life, not just cancer, but anything in life, even I hope not, but even if someday it was cancer, um, you know, they might have this to look back on. I, I would have personally would have given anything to have videos like this um so anyway that's just where I'm at today um one thing I do want to share with you though to lighten the mood is um I have a very strong sense of humor um and I, two things I've done is I have renamed chemo, excuse me, I have renamed chemo and I have decided to call it Cancer's Karma because I do think that that's exactly what it is. Oh yeah? You want to come and invade my body? Well, guess what? Karma's coming for you and its name is chemo. Um, 
so I don't know. It just, that's just something that kind of just helps me feel better and motivates me big time. Um, another thing is I each time I go for a treatment, I wear one of my what I call funny cancer shirts. And um, I'll show you some later. But my first treatment, um, I wore a pink shirt. And in white writing, uh, I can insert it in here, but I wore a pink shirt with white writing and it said, uh, hey, cancer, fuck you, you fucking fuck. <laughs> um, and I wasn't sure, you know, if I should wear something like that, you know, out in public. But in all honesty, with everything that we have to go through, if some, you know what, I'm an adult. If a freaking swear word offends you, sorry, look elsewhere. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. They're definitely not going to deny me treatment because of what my shirt says. So, anyway, um, I wear one of those shirts because um, I think they're funny. I'm also a huge sock person. I love my socks. And, um, I got a bunch of funny socks as well. So, um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Another thing, um, that I find useful or a helpful tip is, um, I came up with a, um, as I call it, Cancer's Karma, uh, playlist. And they are songs that are very inspirational, motivational, just have a lot of meaning to them. Um, very empowering. Um, and so I, I definitely um, listen to that playlist more than you, more than you know. Um, and then I've also started listening to, they're called I Am Affirmations. So sometimes when I am having a rough moment or a rough day, um, I listen to that. And as cheesy as it sounds, listening to that and repeating some of that really does help. If nothing more, it just helps me get through that mo get through each moment and get through the day. Um, okay. So I, I'm going to end this one here. Um, and I'll get back to you, I guess later today, or I don't know, as I guess if something comes up e each day, I'm definitely going to try to give a little bit of an update, um, to see how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. And then I think, I'm not positive, but I think maybe on Mondays, um, I'm going to have my husband, Ryan, um, sit in, we'll, we'll do a sit down and, um, we'll, we'll kind of do a recap of how the week's gone. And, um, I, I also think him getting his perspective, per perspective, perception, whatever his opinion in there, um, is also helpful. And I think that, yes, don't get me wrong. The patient themselves is, is going through a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, but I don't think that the caregivers get nearly the amount of respect or sympathy or, um, type of attention, um, that they need to, you know, they have feelings. It is extremely hard for them to watch the ones that they love go through this and be in so much pain and they can't do anything about it, but just sit with you and cry with you. Um, There's just a lot that goes with it. So I definitely think that his, I, I'm hoping that we can, um, 
bring some more awareness to um, not only the patient side, but to the caregiver side too, because I think that's very important. Um, so, okay, well, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.